Messi a lutato, come a joy a lutato, yeah, come a joy. Today marks the beginning of the fearless in October protest, the second mass protest within two months, coinciding with the nation's Independence Day. The protest represents a growing call for systemic change and a desire for accountability amongst citizens. We're here to celebrate our own independence, to tell the government that Nigerians are not happy. We are not happy, and President Tinubu must listen to us. He must listen to us. We are sending signals to them that the terrain is getting ripe every day. And very soon, the masses will speak. Our demands are clear. Reversal of poor fuel pump price. Reduction in the electricity tariff. Release of everyone still being incarcerated as a result of the MBA governance. Okay? National Assembly members should start receiving minimum wage too. All right? The federal government, Tinumbu, should make sure that our four refineries begins to work. Those are our demands for now. This protest comes just weeks after the August and bad governance demonstrations where citizens rallied to address concerns about governance issues. Once again, protest leaders have taken to the streets reinforcing their calls for systemic change and urging citizens to remain steadfast in the pursuit of justice and accountability. We are all in this mess. We are all in this mess. Come and join us. Come and join us. We are moving for peace. We are moving for peace. This is solidarity movement for the National Day of Survivor. We have to survive. The event began at Ikeja Honda Bridge in Lagos, where protesters assembled in impressive numbers as early as 7 a.m. Before commencing their work, the demonstrators sang the national anthem, but notably, they opted to sing the former national anthem, which had since been reviewed. Following this, the newly appointed Lagos State Commissioner of Police, Ishola Lanre, addressed some protest leaders before they proceeded to march from Ikeja to Ojota, holding banners and chanting songs of solidarity. Participants displayed unity and shared purpose as they peacefully marched through Lagos, undeterred by security measures. While the security forces were visibly present, their approach remained non-confrontational, allowing the protest to progress without significant incidents. Among those present were activists Omoyele Showare and several other protest leaders reinforcing their commitments to advocating for change and inspiring the crowd with their presence. The Fearless in October protest showcased a determined effort by citizens to voice their concerns about governance and the state of the nation. What we are saying is that the cost of living is too hard and too harsh on our people and we are insisting that the Nigerian government brings down the cost of living to ensure the Nigerian people are able to afford food. The citizens are unwilling to back down in their quest for a better and more accountable governance structure. As the country watches, the demonstration reinforces the power of collective voices in driving the call for meaningful change. They know they tell us what we go do. Now we go tell them what we go to do. People say, now we the people. For more on this developing story, stay tuned to our pages at Guardian Nigeria and Guardian TV for more as we continue to bring you latest updates on the protest. Thanks for watching. <laughs>